Last month, I did something that was like Columbus Day, so it was Veterans Day. So I got my stars and stripes on. So I'm gonna do something Veterans Day-ish. <laughs> Thanks to all my friends who came out to see me. Thank you for being here. Okay. My story is called, Who Said What? Nono said he and O'Neill were the only two soldiers left from World War I at the American Legion post in Jessup. Nono said he and his brother wanted to join the cavalry. Nono was adventurous and rugged. That's how he came to America in the first place. Nono had flat feet and wasn't selected for the cavalry. He was a medic. He said it was better he didn't join the cavalry. The horses came back with no riders. We all went out to see the Memorial Day Parade to wave and cheer to Nono marching with the American Legion. We were Americans first. Italian Americans. My uncles were sailors and soldiers in the American Navy, Army, ROTC, and Reserves. They served their country, America. Nona said it was okay to have a hot dog once in a while, especially grilled outdoors in the summer on festive holidays. Hot dogs are like little sausages, and sausage is Italian. And technically, if it's grilled outdoors, it was never brought into the house. We celebrated and participated in American traditions. Hot dogs were okay once in a while. We had the same American holiday meals as everyone else. Turkey on Thanksgiving. However, every first course was Italian. Nono said the plate of spaghetti was the best. Dad shot a wild turkey once. What a memorable Thanksgiving that was. American as the original pilgrim and Indian feast. One year, I even dressed up as an Indian. Nona said, what did you buy that for? When my mother brought bottled salad dressing home from the store. Translated from Italian, that meant, why did you bring that contraband into the house? <laughs> Mom said she needed oil and vinegar pre-mixed. She was working now and needed time-saving conveniences. <laughs> what was acceptable was hard to figure out, but if you lived in the house, you knew the rules. Dad and my uncle smoked. It was fashionable at the time. It was accepted, although not approved of. It was more acceptable to light a cigarette than to toast a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Things... <laughs> Things change. Dad and my uncle stopped smoking and I started bringing Pop-Tarts into the house once in a while. So I got one more. This is um, just a little story. It's called The Food Network Meets WebMD. <laughs> the Food Network Meets WebMD. The Food Network is known as a cable television channel. You might have your favorite shows, chefs, or recipes. But I lived on the set of the Food Network long before it was a cable channel. <laughs> My family kitchen with all the appliances and counters in a horseshoe shape was the set. The dining table on the other side of the island where I sat, I was the live studio audience watching my favorite chefs prepare recipes. With potato peels falling to the floor,
the ricer streaming of white puffy explosions, flower clapping from hands in puffs, and a mix of Italian and American words floating in the air. <laughs> Making gnocchi was like a scene in a snow globe. <laughs> Nona was the celebrity chef and physician. If your recipe was in distress, all that was needed to get a consultation were the seven digits of her phone number. We had the direct line, no voicemail or automated prompts. Nona would say hello and the diagnosis would begin. She knew the exact treatment. Too loose, add more flour. Too thick, add more liquid. She had the prescription. On house calls, she could analyze the culinary creation, dissect its parts, examining its quality and the skill with which it was created. She knew by the sound and smell when the dish was ready to be served. Like a skilled surgeon, Nona could work magic. Chicken bones became broth. Garden vegetables transformed into minestrone soup. And a zucchini reappeared as a loaf of bread. Nona was very smart, but never went to medical school, although her son did. She dubbed herself the woman from the kitchen sink. Wouldn't that make a great Food Network show?